As we've seen in previous videos, Muhammad, the whitest prophet in history, bought, owned, sold, and traded black African slaves. He referred to Ethiopians as raisin heads, he told his followers that Satan looks like a black man, and that a thin-legged black man would eventually destroy the Kaaba, Islam's holiest site. But Muhammad was also an expert in the exciting field of dream interpretation. And if we study his interpretations of dreams, we can understand how to interpret our own dreams. For instance, suppose you fall asleep one night and you have a dream about a black woman. How should you interpret your dream? Fortunately for us, the Prophet Muhammad has the answer. Jamia at Termidi, 2290. Salim bin Abdullah narrated from his father about the dream of the Prophet, who said, I saw a black woman with unkempt hair going out of Al Madinah until she stood in Mahya, and it is Al Jufa. So I interpreted that to be an epidemic in Al Madinah that would spread to Al Jufa. We have some added commentary below this hadith. When the Messenger of Allah emigrated to Al Madinah, he found the inhabitants of the place contending with an epidemic-like spread of fever. It was a particularly disturbing phenomenon for the emigrants. The Prophet, therefore, supplicated to Allah to move the epidemic to Jufa. Allah accepted the supplication. The epidemic was shown to the Prophet in the form of a black woman with unkempt hair. According to Muhammad, a black woman in a dream represents the spread of a sickness or plague. Sahih al Bukhari, 7038. Narrated Abdullah bin Umar. The Prophet said, I saw in a dream a black woman with unkempt hair going out of Al Madinah and settling in Mahya, i.e., Al Jufa. I interpreted that as a symbol of epidemic of Al Madinah being transferred to that place, Al Jufa. We have a little more of the historical background in Sahih Muslim 3342. It was narrated that Aisha said, We came to Al Madinah and it was filled with an epidemic. Abu Bakr fell sick and Bilal fell sick. When the Messenger of Allah saw that his companions were sick, he said, O oh Allah, make Al Madinah dear to us as you made Mecca dear and more so. Make it healthy and bless us in its sa and mud, and transfer its fever to Al Jufa. Putting all of this together, here's what we have. A bunch of Muhammad's companions became horribly sick in Medina. Normally, he would have just told them to drink camel urine, but this time he had a dream about a black woman leaving Medina and heading to Jufa. Muhammad concluded that the black woman represented the sickness, the epidemic, and that he should therefore pray for the sickness to leave Medina and spread to Jufa. Allah heard Muhammad's prayer and removed the sickness from Medina and sent it to Jufa. The Muslims of Medina were saved, all because Muhammad understood that when you dream about a black woman, the black woman represents an infectious disease, a sickness, an illness, an infection, a virus, a plague, an epidemic. So be careful what you dream about, gentlemen. But if you find yourself dreaming about black women who, according to Muhammad, the master of dream interpretation, symbolize the outbreak of contagious diseases, be sure to pray for Allah to remove whatever contagious diseases are symbolized by the black women. In doing so, you'll save countless lives, all thanks to the prophet of racial equality. We have plenty more to cover in our ongoing exploration of Muhammad's views on race. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell so that you won't miss the latest videos. If you've missed any of the previous installments, be sure to check out this playlist. And even if you've seen them all already, go ahead and watch them again. This is important stuff that can change the world.